Hey guys, I hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, I've got a video for you that Jamie wanted me to share with you. Uh, he recorded himself talking about his accident and how it happened in the hopes that it would save someone else from having an accident. And I think it's worth watching, okay? Uh, this video doesn't have any graphic images in it, just so you know. You can watch it. Uh, but it is very intense, I will say that. So uh, let's check it out. I'm going to try to talk a little bit here about what happened to me while the uh, morphine is is good here so so that maybe um, you know something like this won't happen to you um, I cut my fingers off on a jointer it's a woodworking machine for flattening boards and uh, the one that I've been using is a Powermatic it's a two horsepower machine it's an eight inch wide machine and um, I was using it this morning in the shop to joint some boards flat and uh, only about four pieces of wood I got those all done my buddy Brett was helping me and uh, we got those boards jointed flat and we moved over to the planer we started using the planer um, to plane those boards down to thickness because I'm I'm building some window trims out of them and um, you know the jointer is like a table so I basically had set some of the boards on the on the jointer on the infeed table of the jointer just using it just to set pieces of wood on and and because I had my earmuffs on and you know the vacuum system was running the planer was running I I uh I neglected to notice that I had left the jointer running and um uh, the guard was was not covering the knives. It was it was a very very foolish mistake that I made. Um, I tell everybody to be safe on the job. I tell all my workers to be safe. Um, I, I feel like I'm cautious as as anybody, but this was just a really really bad mistake. I left I uh, left the knives exposed and and the machine was running and I didn't even know that it was running. I couldn't tell that it was on and I just very casually reached across to pick up a piece of wood that was sitting on the joiner table um, in a very quick instant before I could have any reaction time uh, it sucked my hand into the machine on the back side of the blades on the in feed side and um, my my hand fortunately uh, whew, it's so weird to say that but Fortunately, my hand got wedged in between uh, the cutter head and the infeed table, and it actually stalled the cutter head out. It actually stopped, and I was able to reach the off switch and unplug the machine right there in that very instant. Um, man, that blade spins fast, and it's it's powerful, and um, I, I just can't imagine how much more uh, damage I would have had if that machine had not totally stopped when it when it, it pinched my fingers in there. I really don't do well with blood <clears throat> and needles. I, I kind of have a tendency to pass out, like my face goes totally uh, white and uh, and then it's like somebody just turned the lights out, like I, I pass out, like blackout. And uh, I'm very glad that that didn't happen, but um, my buddy Brett was was right there with me to help me, and uh, we had to uh, pull my hand out of the machine. Um, it was it was very painful, obviously, right then. But uh, I had a lot of adrenaline going, and um, it was actually a bit of a struggle to pull, and so we had to just pull them out. Um, and uh, I must have screamed really loud. I I don't remember, but I'm sure that I did because. Um, my wife came running downstairs. Um, my wood shop is in the basement of my house, so when I work downstairs, my wife can hear everything that I'm doing, and uh, she can hear the machines running. It was a very preventable mistake. I feel like it was it was a really silly thing that I did, and um, just I'm gonna try not to beat myself up about it, uh, and uh, and try to stay positive. Um, like I said before, I'm I'm very encouraged by um, all my friends and family and, and my YouTube family 
who has already been so generous to me uh, during this time and, and, and during a time when people don't have money. I mean, you know, uh, everybody is tight right now and, and, and lots of people aren't working. So I just especially want to say thank you to those who are who have donated and, and are helping me to pay for these medical bills because uh, I, I don't know how much this is going to cost. Uh, but I, I know it's a lot of money, and uh, so I'm very grateful, I'm very thankful uh, for everybody. I just want to thank everybody again that's contributed with their prayers and thoughts and even finances to help Jamie right now. It's been a really rough time. Uh, he's got a long road to recovery ahead of him, and uh, it really means a lot to him and a lot to me. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching.